So my name is Lynn Gervin. I work for CMC, um, as you see behind, and I'm their Head of Agile and Head of Business Analysis. And what do CMC do? So we specialise in well, business change and transformation work really. Um, our strap line is putting people at the heart of change. So it's a lot of what we do isn't just about helping change, but looking at the behaviours of why people need to change and the importance. So things like being agile in the business or helping with transformation or projects, but not doing change, supporting change being done by people in the organisations. We've also got agile services that support technical development to ensure that those services land really well as well so we offer sort of scrum masters and product owners and uh, business analysis and data analytics to support the delivery of agile as well under our um, business agility service sure. okay and you were presenting what were you presenting on um, i was actually presenting on the four dimensions of business agility which is one of our newer services and it really sort of focuses around the um, organizational behaviors that need to be present in order for um, businesses to really thrive in the digital era. Um, I think too many organisations focus on scaling and, and, and re, re, they don't reinvent themselves and I think if we're, they're going to thrive and continue to stay um, afloat um, they need to become more infinite like we, we coined the phrase the infinite organisation um, which is um, yeah, being uh, the purpose of the organisation is to stay in business and then realigning strategy and structure and processes around that concept. Okay. And um, what do you think the hot topics are this week for you? What, you? what are people talking about? I think there's a movement towards behaviour um, and I think that's been really needed in this industry. I think people have been doing um, for so many years a sort of recipe for change. You know, follow process, tick box, tick box, out pops change. And it, people just don't operate and work like that. So I think it's been really refreshing to you know, think about things like the neuroscience. It's lovely that we've actually got sort of psychologists in, in here that are sort of talking about the psychology of how you know, coming back face to face and how important it is and you know, the, you know, how organizations need to deal with all of these things. They're really focusing on the people rather than on the resources and and, um, you know, tick box exercises. Uh, we were interviewing Alex Barker just before you, and that's exactly what she said. Yeah. I said, do you think the change comes from the organisation or the people? And she said, well, people are the yeah. organisation. So yeah. And, 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 and again, she yeah. touched on the psychological aspect yeah. and element of, yeah. you know, hearing about that. And that element, you know, for her was really important. And, yeah. and she got a different perspective on, you know, what, what she thinks, you know, with her, how to be more pirate. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I see a lot of um, some of the stuff in Be More Pirate is really relevant to agility. So I think people think about agility as being something that's um, to do with technical organisations. It's about software teams, and that's really where it came from. But now organisations need to think about agility from the organisational perspective. So she was talking about the flotilla of pirate ships and how they work as individual ships, but they would work together to defeat a bigger battle. That's a clear goal, uh, and in that clear goal they're happy to work with other people you know in agile we refer to that as network of interconnected teams and these are the, there's so many similarities between be more pirate and some of the agile philosophies that we're trying to apply to business thinking we need to go away from management thinking of you know things that we did at theory X management, you know, and move into what we call theory Y. People don't need to be told what to do anymore. You, know, you, you employ people because they have uh, a passion, they have the skills that you need, and you should let that thrive. Um, that's where innovation comes from. You don't get innovation by creating a head of innovation. Innovation comes from the interconnected teams and a passion for doing the right thing for the business.